All right, so that was the first game. Let's try another one. Again, just anonymous, 10 plus 0. Um, I should probably talk about this. Um, so again, these standard principles. Okay, so this is a king's gambit. Um, you notice it's the, the king's pawns that's coming out. Um, there's a couple ways to do this. I, this is the way I do. Um, I, he's going to take back with the queen. So again, that's that's a gambit, and it's not lost yet. All right. Um, he's giving me a chance to defend it, which I'll take. Um, but the idea here is the same thing. So he's looking for some kind of um, co compensation for gambling that. Uh, he's going to probably take this so that so notice this is the defender of that pawn he's probably going to take eliminate the defender of that pawn so he can take with his knight without having to worry about it um so there's a couple ways that i can play this eh i'm going to probably lose that pawn so i'm not going to worry about it too much i'm just going to go ahead and get my the rest of my pieces out the question is how do i want to proceed i don't know at this point in time i don't know so just make a standard principle move um, I am going to capture back away from the center, which is what you sh normally shouldn't do, but this gives me a chance to decide if we're going to eliminate the queens early, which we are. So this is, um, he. We are, we're back to even material. I have um, two bishops, he has two knights. He has one bishop, I have one knight. Um, queens are off the board early. So how do I proceed? I want to, let's just go ahead and get this. Well, which way do we want to go? So what I'm thinking about right now is where do I want this bishop to go? This bishop's the next one to get out. I could go here, I could go here, I could go here, I could go all the way up to here and give this guy a free check. Um, but then I'm going to probably have to dance because he's going to probably use this, um, he's going to use that pawn or this pawn to, to block. Um, I'm thinking I want to go here, but the problem about going here is it, it uh, yeah, I'm going to go there. I don't like it. The problem with going there is it causes issues if he pushes this forward because now this pawn has a fork on these two pieces. Um, it's not a big deal, but it is something to consider. Now notice this pawn is hanging. He either has to defend this pawn because it's hanging right now, or even if he pushes it, which at this point in time, I'm just gonna take, right? Is there any reason I wouldn't take this pawn at this point in time? Yeah, I'll just get my pawn back. And notice it comes with an attack on this. So undefended piece, undefended piece here and here. Ah, so now he's got a couple things going for him. So this move here, he's looking at, he can, that knight. So this is the knight moves again. Knight moves I have to be careful of because this knight here can go here, 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 right? My bishop is defended. So even if he takes my bishop, it's defended. If he takes any of these pawns, they're defended. That is not defended. Undefended piece. I'm now up material. And my two little pawns that were stacked up behind each other, now they're separated. They're called um, uh, doubled pawns. So now all I got to do now is I could, I could for, for free, if I wanted to, I could give back that piece, but I'm not going to. So where does this knight belong? Where do we want this knight to go? Uh, I could go here, right? Stick the knight there and then defend it with that. Is there anything that he's got that, that could attack that for free? No. So it's... The only reason I keep moving the same piece is because he keeps attacking it, right? So we're running into the same situation. I think I even might move this. Now nah, I don't want to move that bishop there. It's, nah, it's not bad actually, because this bishop going here, that this notice this pawn here is undefended. There's no defender on this pawn, so that's a target. There's no defender of that pawn either. That's a target. I don't have a dark square knight any I mean, bishop anymore, so I can't do anything about it. But this guy, having this knight here, I'd like to get it defended. I'm most likely going to defend with that. 
because that keeps my nice pawn chain in a row. See, nice pawn chain. Um, what else? He's. If I were him, I'd probably go here or get this knight out. Now, I'm up in material. Up in material says if I can trade, I will trade. So um, if he does move this guy out here, I'm going to trade. I'm going to just bank it. Or I might actually go here first. Because if he goes here, I take there. He takes back. I can go here. That pawn is still undefended. Not a bad gameplay. So I might go here first and go ahead and do my, my principled move of developing. Get this development out. Get this bishop out of the way, or out into the game, um, which defends this knight, which is what I want to do. This knight is in the center of the board, controlling the center. It's got tons of options that it can move around. A couple of things that I am looking at is this rook can go here or here, because notice I've got some defense issues. Well, no, technically that's defended, so I'm okay there. Um... If he starts marching this pawn down, it just gets awkward. So what I'm probably going to do is he doesn't have any bishops anymore. So I can happily jump this pawn up to barricade against that pawn. Um, so that's what I'm thinking next is um, take this pawn. At, or not next. Um, next is going to be this or this. Um, but if he starts marching this pawn down, I'm going to try to barricade it. So that I don't lose the structure in front of my king. My opponent has left the game. Here we go. So we'll just claim the victory. All right, let's move to the analysis board. So this is a, this is a tool that we're going to use, or I, that we can use to look at the game. This is the um, using Lee Chess's database. I'm going to put it on the Lee Chess side. The master side is is a cool one. This one just happens to have more games because it's all the online games. Um, so this is the move order. So you can see exactly what happened. So he played e4. I responded with e5. Very standard open. This is some kind of center game. I don't know this game. So again, I don't know what's going on. One of the things I heard somewhere was, if you don't know a gambit, don't... I mean, you, you can go ahead and take the first gambit. If they continue to add more gambit, like let's say, let's say I take, right? And he goes like that. Don't take the second gambit, because that's usually a trap. Um... The first gambit can often be a trap, but the thought process, my thought process here was I would take, and then he would take with his queen. At which point in time, I would probably, let's see, this queen is going down here, which is defended. Queen is here, defended. Queen could go here, defended. So I could go something like that, which attacks his queen. I get development with tempo, and then he would have to figure out where he's going to go with his queen. Probably right back, maybe, or maybe something like that, something like that like that but that doesn't really matter so let's go to the game I took and then he went to this um, at which point in time really I could have done anything I could have kept moving it forward I, I don't know why because that would just let him move pawns back to the center so it was a gambit I'm up a pawn I'm considering this a lost pawn not a lost pawn but I'm considering this is my free pawn so if it goes away that's fine we're still back to even so let's just move on to principled moves Principal mood with, with tempo. Again, a standard move. We saw this. We talked about it. Him eliminating this defender. There's only one defender of that pawn, so if he eliminates it, he gets to pick it up for free. Which, he went through the motions, but this was so odd to me. This is an early queen trade, which is fine. I mean, early queen trades are fine. Um, which is, however, mm, I don't know if that's the correct move. I don't know if this is the correct move or if this is the correct move. So let's go look at the engine. So he takes here. Um, is there a way to... So this is the... No, 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 no. I don't know how to do this from the anonymous. I know how to do it once you're logged in. Well, we'll figure that out some other time. Um, th this is saying that these are the most common moves from this position. Oh, here it is. Duh, Joe. Do, 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 do. Here are the lines. So this is the engine line. So the engine is saying that um, black is ahead by almost one pawn, which is true because I took that pawn earlier. Um, and in order to maximize my advantage, I should probably go with this line. 
And this line says capture the way I did. Um, the other capture, so the reason I went this way instead of this way, this just goes from um, a few times that I've studied these kind of things. Um, when playing against the Roy Lopez, remember we talked about the Roy Lopez, when that bishop ends up here, like in the Roy Lopez game, um, this is the one of the few times where you go against the grain and go away from the center. Normally when you're capturing, you capture towards the center, but in this particular case, uh, in the Roy Lopez case, you would take away from the center. This game is not the Roy Lopez, but it has some of the same kind of uh, pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and take away, which frees up my queen. Um, I don't know if that's the correct move or not. The engine says it was the better move. But then he goes and makes this queen pick up. And is there a way that I could... So the engine says that, yes, trading is, is better for me. So you can see here the, um, the evaluation says that I am ahead. Here's the midway point, this little orange dot. So black is ahead. And the negative means black is ahead. Positive means white is ahead. So it's saying that, yeah, this, this means white is still... I mean, black is still ahead. I've still got... I'm still up in, um, up in the, the computer evaluation. And then here, I could have taken the free pawn, right? Uh, I chose not to because I chose. I, I decided to go with. Um, I decided to do go principled moves, right? So the computer is saying taking would be a better option because what did I do? I went bishop there because if he had pushed, I can take it. Now, if I had done something different, like let's say I had gone here, right, and tried to attack that knight. Well, actually, that's a good move. He could go like this, which complicates things a little bit, right? I take, he takes, so we're still technically up. I mean, it's still technically even in material. Now, granted, I do have that move at the end, which I did not see, but uh, what about something like this? Let's say I go here and give him a check. This is what I was worried about. And then I move here. He has this move, which puts pressure on my knight, which is what I was thinking about I not that I was concerned about it so much only that I didn't I didn't want to have to think about it so there's obviously you can see here there's tons of squares available for my knight to go um, my first thought was to go forward finding backwards knight moves is, is incredibly difficult and I'm not skilled enough to find them uh, my first thought was just jump up here um, and he's got that. Now I'm running all over the place. And now he's got the fork. So this is what we're talking about. See this fork? So even if I take this pawn here, he's going to take it back. And now he's won a bishop for a pawn. So I'm getting one point of material, but I'm sacrificing three points of material. And even then, even if I do that, he's still now, once this is completed... He still has an attack on this knight. I still have to move this knight again. So these are the kind of forks that you have to be careful of, um, which way back here, that's what I was debating on, is do I put the knight, I mean, do I put the bishop here and put myself into this fork range, but um, there's nothing backing up this pawn. There's there's um, no pawn here to recapture. There's no queen here to recapture. So, I mean, I, I was safe in that regard. Um, which is why I went for it. But that was my thought process was, where does this bishop belong? I want this bishop out, and where does it belong? Um, and I just, I, I don't know for certain. I'm guessing on most of this, but here would be fine. Like, so here's where I went. Um, here would be fine, like, so putting pressure on that knight. Um, this is what I was concerned about, but probably should have gone for it anyway. Um, the engine says that... Capturing would have been fine. Yeah, so I went from a 1.5 advantage to only a to a losing 0 0.4. So according to the, the engine, the evaluation, that was a bad move for me by, by a good margin. And so this is how I study. As I say, well, that was a, a mistake. Why was that a mistake? Because my opponent could have defended that pawn and now I don't have a chance to take that pawn, right? 
Or he could have gone this way, which would have been a more principled move to get his piece into the game, defending that pawn. Now I don't have a chance to get that pawn. I have to find another way to work to get that pawn. So, yeah, they're, they're, those are the things that, we, that I look at. So this is how the game went. He decided to go that way. That pawn is still free. And again, you can see the evaluation jumps, um, how quickly these things jump, right? So a pawn one way or the other is not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. But man, it says that was a huge mistake for him. Running that bishop out there. Look at that. That's a huge evaluation. That's a that's a two point swing, and I made the correct move in this call by taking. This was this is where I th yeah look 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 at this mistake. This was a huge mistake. Here he has a piece that is currently under attack and not defended, and then he makes a move that piece is free. So that piece is is on pre, right? Is is ready to be taken. What a huge swing. And in fact, the game engine says I should have taken that knight. I guess maybe. Okay, so the game engine is saying I have a pair of, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. The game engine is saying I have a pair of bishops. Don't throw that away. Get rid of this knight. Take your free, bank your free piece, keep your pair of, of bishops. That's probably what the game engine is thinking. Um, yeah, and you can see it's a very minor difference between taking one way versus taking the other, almost a full pawn difference between those two evaluations. I went with the evaluate, I went with the one that I see. I see take this one, so that's the way I went. Take it, he eliminated that. Take that. Now I've refixed my pawn structure. It's all now one chain. There's no doubled pawns. And then the rest is history. So. All right. Fun game. Probably talked too much during it or afterwards. Probably spent too much time in evaluation. But that's what Lee Chess can do, man. This is this is why I like this 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 um site. It's It's got good stuff. I'm sure there are other sites out there like Chess24 and Chess.com. Um, I don't know them. I don't use them. Um, I use Lee Chess just because it was the the first one that I found that was free and easy to use, so. Cool.